What's up everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your fifth React.js tutorial in which I'm gonna finally be touching components. Now what components are actually is that your whole web page can be divided into components, right? So let's just say if your web page consists of a header, sidebar, content area, footer, then you know some sort of chat application at the bottom right or you know anything like that which could be used as a you know interactive sort of thing that could be a component right it's up to you how many components and what sort of components you want to create on your web page so react makes it easy to create different sort of components now i'm gonna first of all quickly show you what fundamentally react considers a component as so react says that programmatically you can call a JavaScript, a plain JavaScript function as a component as well. So let's just see what we mean by that. So what a component is essentially is simply a JavaScript function. So we create a function, let's just say, um, hello planet, right? And uh, we pass in the props. And as you might have noticed, I have kept the H as capital. This is important. Your first letter of the name of the component should be in capital right and this should accept a props object which we would see what this would contain right so what we can do is that we can return return um let's just say you or let's just say hello and then we can just say props dot name now what we are essentially doing is and i know some people would have some sort of trouble reading this code while we are writing html directly inside of javascript but again remember that we are not presenting this as it is to the browser there's a lot of things going on in the background and this is completely valid react code and es6 as well so here we have our very first component and uh, we can do something like hello planet name equals something like let's just say earth and uh, we can just make it self-closing if we want so what happened here essentially is that uh, we pass a component to the render function of react and react dom renders it it's it actually needs first time to have a you know reference to the dom element so we're just making use of this first app right here this div right so it needs a reference to first tab which we provided and then we are passing our component which has a property set name equals earth right and this props object if we just console log this before returning right and we can say like any other property as well like uh, has Wi-Fi equals true something like that so let's just see what happens and uh, obviously we would need to have our npm run it running right and uh, okay you can see we get hello earth and in the console if we check we see an object which says has wi-fi is true and name is earth which is the same thing which we passed in in this component right so that is how you create a component but this is an ugly way to do now because we have es6 ways and how to do that with es6 classes is that we create a new file so let's just go ahead and uh, actually create a folder instead let's just say components and inside here i'm gonna create another component uh, let's just say this is again hello planet dot js right i'm gonna again need react and then I'm gonna need create a class this now this is ES6 stuff class hello planet and this is just you know these two need not to match it's not necessary for your file name and your component name to be same it's just coincidence in my guess so class hello planet extends react dot component now this thing here is necessary you need to extend react dot component and then here in the render function now this render function is the same function which would just render the component 
what we're going to do is we're going to simply return this dot props dot name now again this props property automatically comes in because we are extending a component so actually we do not want to return that we want to return something like h1 hey you are on and then we can do something like that okay now finally we want to export this so that we can make use of this in another file so i'm just going to export it and inside my script i'm going to say import what's my component it's hello planet from components and uh, it's just hello planet you can just omit the .js extension it's not required actually so now we have hello planet name earth and has wi-fi equal to true fair enough and what we can do is that we can just create some more components but remember that the render function should return only one root component right so right here we are just returning one and uh, here we are returning actually three so what we can do is we can just enclose that in a div so that it just works and uh, we can just get rid of this has wi-fi property now uh, we can just say uh, mars and pluto why not okay so let's just take a look and uh, okay so we have some problems here oh you don't need that comma there just here right now you can see how we get hey you are on earth hey you are on mars hey you are on pluto now that's how pretty much you create a very basic component in react and uh, use it from another file so that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one